Good evening, everybody. I am your host with the the I almost forgot my intro. I am the host with the most but no toast, Nikita. Welcome to the stream. What's up, Rover? What's up, Vicky? Welcome to the stream. Happy to have you guys here. I uh <clears throat> I have had a very interesting day. It was really cool. I, um, just as like a heads up, I got, finally got hired on, uh, for an IT position that I've been trying to get for a while. So I'm super excited about that, uh, beginning to start a new job besides, you know, getting to stream for you guys. So I'm, su I'm really excited about that. I'm super happy about it. It's been a, a long ride, um, you know, especially after my last job. But I, I am super looking forward to it. Thank you so much, uh, Ed. I really do appreciate you. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I finished a lot of IT certifications in the past year, so I'm super excited to finally get to put that that work to you. Sadly, I can't put my mechanical engineering prowess to work, but, um, you know, IT is the next best thing, especially uh you know being for a blog that's about tech and entertainment so you know it definitely works out you know it, life has a funny way of, of of having things play out but i'm happy to be here for you guys typically tuesday night is my last stream of the week but i will be live um on uh, uh tomorrow morning super early i'm covering james slot because he has some stuff that he needs to take care of so i'm happy to fill in but it will be my my set only my second morning stream i did a morning stream once about two months ago on a saturday but this is gonna be a wednesday morning one so i'm super excited about that let's see uh nikita google b o f h and enjoy the reads okay i'm going to actually write that down in my notepads real quick so i can have that um set up so I don't forget to search it. So I'm definitely going to do that. I, is it is it supposed to be bastard operator from hell? Is that the is that the right thing? Am I am I did I did I search the right thing? Because I, I I you know anytime y'all tell me to look up something, I'm gonna do it because I enjoy doing that and talking to you guys about it. Let's say I read them during the BBS days. Oh wow. I forget you guys are old people. Okay, I will definitely I will definitely check that out, Mr. Rover. I got you. I got you. But today, I'm going to be showing you guys a lot of cool products. Really, honestly, a lot of the products are James here products, and then the rest are mine for the most part. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me. I have a lot of personal experience with a lot of these products. Uh, I think they're all really amazing products. A lot I use every day, uh, and so I'm, I'm well-versed in these. And then, of course, y'all know at the end, we always got some Star Wars stuff, so I got a really cool Star Wars saber. I don't think I've shown this saber yet yet and y'all know i got like 20 sabers so i will get to show this one let's see man i haven't heard of be since the 90s i haven't heard of them at all mr rover not here just rover i'm sorry i look i grew up in you know the american south and we always put handles on people's name especially as a way to like show respect so i always call mr justin mr james i even with nate sometimes i call him mr nate most of the time i call him tater nate but it's just a it's it's a way of me showing my respect for you i'm sorry if it offends you at all i just do it it's, it's a habit that's been built into me since i was younger always include a handle on someone's name especially if they're older than you and respect them so my apologies if i offend you but just rover i got you i will try my best to honor your request but i will i am sorry if i slip up like i said it's just it's just built into me at this point so uh but yeah without further ado um just gonna go ahead and jump into these parts. okay i'm glad i didn't offend you i have met some people um one of my one of my best friends gabby her mom i always called her i always say yes ma'am no ma'am and she's like no no ma'am only mom and it's just i i laugh at every time because she treats us like she treats all of gabby's friends like her own children so she's like no ma'am only mom and so i have to i have to do it for certain people when certain people ask me not to use the handles i try my best but like i said it's been built into me so it's kind of hard sometimes but without further ado we're gonna jump straight on into this first product this is the uh, Paris Roan wall unit. It's an 8,000 BTU AC. Um, I actually really love this thing. I have it out in my garage. My garage isn't like insulated or anything. Uh, we just have a lot of workout equipment in there. So we put this AC unit in there to kind of help mitigate the heat because, you know, Texas be hot. 
and it actually does an amazing job. Like when we close the garage, we don't have to worry about suffocating in the garage now because, um, you know, it, it does a really amazing job, especially being 8,000 BTU. It, it, it can actually just change the temperature out there. So, so like, if it's like, if it's like 90 degrees outside, it's normally like 95 inside of that garage. And with this thing going, uh, at max, max blast, when we're outside, uh, and have the thing closed, it actually balances out to about 78 degrees, which like, isn't the, the, the coolest, but taking it down a full 17 degrees and we have fans and stuff there is absolutely fantastic. Let's see. Same here. It's me. Yep. That it miss miss Mr. Mrs. Yep. That's how it is. Also, what's up lady bacon. Welcome to the stream. Late 50s, 60s grandparents helped raise me. Yeah, that's how I, I grew up. I grew up with some old schoolers. So, uh, you know, they, uh, they definitely taught me well. And uh, you know, I'm actually appreciative that they taught me like to use handles on people's names because people are always like, oh my God, you're just so respectful. Or your parents raised you right, you know, and stuff like that. And I'm like, ha -ha, little do you know that I'm a little demon on the inside. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get into this AC unit. It's actually amazing, I promise you. So I'm here in my garage. And so you can see like my workout equipment and stuff that we use As you in can there. See, I have quite a bit of gym equipment in here. And so having this thing is absolutely amazing. This is my Paris Roan nice wall unit AC that I just finished installing. And this thing is absolutely fantastic. It does an amazing job at keeping the entire garage pretty cool. Now I do have to and you know, the entire install process for this AC unit actually wasn't bad at all. It only took about 20 minutes. Now you do need two people, but once you take it out the box, the instructions are so simple and it's so easy to do that. It doesn't take long at all. The hardest part is just getting it into the actual wall unit itself. But for anyone who's installed an AC unit, you probably understand that, you know, that that's going to be the case. Also, before I continue going on, don't forget guys, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me get it pulled up. Hydrate or dehydrate. Let's go. I really do need to add some effects to that so it can like slide over, like do effects and stuff. I just haven't had time to set it up yet. To put down the garage door for it to actually work. Um, and though the garage isn't sealed, as you can see, like that door has some, you know, openings. It still does an amazing job at getting this done. This is uh, 8,000 BTU. So it's really, it's rated for 350 square feet and it's just absolutely awesome. So it comes with this remote too, and it does take two AAA batteries that you have to use, but it works great. I turn it on and I had it set to the lowest setting. The lowest setting that this one has is 61 degrees Fahrenheit. And what's really cool is that there's a bunch of buttons on here that you can press to change the different settings. So you can change the timer, the mode, the you know, the, the fan speed, um, temperature in, uh, increase, change it to fan. It's currently on AC mode. And what's cool is it tells you what it is on here. Oh, actually I was, I misspoke. It's on save mode. So let's see, speaking of hydrating, I've lost 14 pounds since going on my water pill. Getting older can be no fun. You lost seven. Hey, congratulations, lady bacon. I have lost about like I'm, I'm done with mine. They only had me on mine for a 60 day period, uh, just because like some kidney stuff was going on. And I also, uh, lost a, a decent amount. I think I lost about eight pounds in that 60 day period, but I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. So if I want to change the mode, this would be just fan. This is just a dry operation. This is auto, but I like to keep it on cool. And then as you can see, it's 64 on here. It's 64 on here. When I change it on here, it also changes on here, which is really cool. You can put it in sleep mode, have a timer, have the I feel mode, and also change it back to fan from here too, which is really awesome. This thing does an amazing job, as I said before, and it was really easy to install. I love the fact that it came with Oh yeah, people understand or like don't under uh, like underestimate how much weight you can lose uh you know just from um you know like water in general. Uh it's absolutely astounding sometimes. But no, this AC unit is absolutely amazing. The one critique that I have for it is that I've had plenty of wall units especially growing up in a house without central AC unit. Um the one thing about this is like as compared to the average uh wall unit it's just a little bit loud, uh, but it's 
it it works so well. You almost you really you, like you know because we're gonna be working out. We're gonna be have he headphones on most of the time while we're working out, so it's not really going to affect us. But it's a little bit loud. Now what's really cool is it has a really nice drainage feature, and you do have to put it at a slight angle. I think it recommends anywhere between um, three and five degrees of tilt in the back. Oh, what's up, Blake? You don't have to apologize for being late. We're just happy to have you here. Uh, but you do have to have a, a certain amount of tilt, and it has a, a outlet on the side where it lets out water, and it's super easy easy to set up and super easy to do but if you have a if you have a, a nice wall like you have to make sure that um you know it fits and everything and though our our wall or the the window in which we put it in was just a little like it's a lot longer and a little bit taller than the actual unit itself the way that they've designed it with the the peripherals and accessories that come with it it covers those gaps where you don't even notice it and it's it's freestanding we don't have anything else supporting it except for the window brace itself and so it's just a really amazing wall unit to pick up and i absolutely enjoy it for the price point and the amount of btus and how well it works it's just absolutely fantastic buy and i highly recommend it for anyone looking for a wall unit especially in this hot summer sun Next up is another product, because y'all know I be reading. I don't know if y'all know. Uh, just a quick little fun thing. Um, there is a... So y'all can see all my Star Wars stuff. So I have every Star Wars book in the extended universe, every printed Star Wars book, and I'm working on the Disney. The... The, so the the it goes in chronological... I put my books in chronological order. So it goes... Uh, across and down this first shelf across and down the second shelf then goes all the way back up to the top shelf and then my disney timeline starts on this shelf and goes chronologically also i'm almost done with the disney timeline but this next product is one that i use for when i want to read um and so <clears throat> what's cool is that this next product is really awesome for reading also uh blake I, there is no inter live giveaway tonight but I'm pretty sure uh, tomorrow, since I'm covering for James in the morning, there might be a giveaway then. Let's see. Uh, you know what? I just ordered the Bedshirt Mattress Protector from the DB Storefront before you... Hey, that's awesome, Margaret. Also, welcome to the stream. I'm actually doing that product tonight, too. Uh, but I absolutely love that thing. Um, and thank you, Rover, for posting on Twitter and Facebook Live. I really do appreciate you. Uh, but yeah, no, no giveaway tonight, sadly. Uh, my apologies. I should have asked Justin uh honestly i can't i want him to show me uh how to do my own giveaways because i will do a giveaway every if he shows me how to do it i will fund giveaways myself on my own streams because i like doing that i, I love doing giveaways little five ten dollar amazon gift cards i don't mind doing that for you guys so uh the next time the, hear me out the next time y'all go to one of justin's stream or y'all see justin in the chat you need to tell him to train me on how to do giveaways so I can give y'all stuff, okay? I gotta put that, I gotta put that on y'all, cause I can tell him all I want, but if he doesn't do it, if he doesn't hear it from the viewers, if y'all don't request it, he, it, it's going to take longer for him to do it. So y'all need to get on his butt about it. <laughs> Uh, but no, this is an absolutely amazing reading light, or it can be used for anything, but it's just an amazing floor lamp in general. <clears throat> and I, uh, I love to use it. Uh, for reading uh, that's my main purpose but it's really cool uh, it comes with a very awesome remote but if you never want to use a remote it has a nice little touch panel on it that you can use also so here's everything that came with my new and it, it doesn't come assembled but it's super easy to assemble it let's see i'll say something when given a chance uh check google check google forms if separate form needed wait what are you talking about rover i don't quite understand also what's up hunter james here james isn't here today but we do have a lot of james products <laughs> but for this product there is some minor assembly but it's not hard at all really you don't even need the instructions to do it and one thing that i love about this product too is that unlike a lot of products that we do it <laughs> james not here <laughs> you're hilarious uh it comes with batteries for the remote too which i, I automatically love so the remote and i'm gonna kind of show you how the remote works with it um the lamp itself so Obviously, this one turns on the power and then it starts working. The 1H is for a one hour timer. When you press it, it's going to like flash, but that's how you know that the one hour timer has started. Go ahead and hit that. So now it's on a one hour timer. It also has settings that you can use to change the brightness. So of course this will, or this is um, rather the, the temperature. This raises the temperature, which changes the color of the light. And if I lower the temperature, it gets more orange, more blue as you go up though. And then this one is the actual for the brightness on the left and the right side. Um, this takes the brightness up as high as it'll go. This takes it, you know, as low as it'll go. Uh, but it also comes with some cool presets. 
that it has. You know what? Uh, for sure, though, Rover, after tomorrow's stream, because uh, after tonight, I'm going to be going. <laughs> I'm going to be going to sleep after the stream tonight because I have to be up early tomorrow for tomorrow's stream. Uh, after that, I'll message him myself, too, to ask him if I can start doing giveaways because I would love to. I love giving y'all stuff. I love showing support to the people who show us support because it's a way to give back to your own community. And that's something that I'm all about. Like I do that not only for Amazon here, but I do it for my own community for Twitch and stuff too. And so I, I love the idea. So I'll, I'll talk to him myself also. But like I said, if y'all get on him too, I promise you he'll, he'll teach me sooner. As you can see, there's a coffee book, a computer, a baby bottle and a moon. And as you can see, um, they're just different preset settings. So what's really cool about this about this light is that it comes with preset settings that are meant to be the most desirable uh, light settings, light fixture settings for those specific um, you know like events. So baby bottle is a nice baby light, um, and then reading is a nice orange light, you know. And if you just have it full blast, it, and it cycles the spectrum, kind of going from a more bluish light to like a harsher bluish light to a more softer orange light, which is something that you know you really start to appreciate uh, because it can be kind of harsh on your eyes. Can I blind myself? Uh, actually, you you probably would do some eye damage. It is that bright hunter, like it's it's super bright and it, it's very intense and very powerful too. Now. Almost everything that you can do from the remote, you can do from the panel itself. The only thing that the panel itself doesn't have is those little preset settings, but you could change it from the panel on there to those preset settings, so you don't have to worry about that. But for the price point of this lamp, it's actually amazing for all that it does. And currently on the page itself, it's already on a 9% discount, but on the page itself, there's an extra 20% for uh, the coupon. And like I said, it's just an amazing lamp, amazing touch control feature, a nice little uh, corner lamp. Uh, you know, that you can use, you know, like near your desk or near your couch or, you know, anywhere you want to use it. We have ours on our bed so that we, my, me and my girlfriend are laying in bed, both sitting up reading it, a cast over both of us because that's how bright. And yeah, you might want to, depending on how bright it is, if your child is going to look directly at it, it might be advantageous to uh, to keep it away but the the cool thing about the light panel is it's pretty high so i think as long as your child isn't above like four feet tall probably can't reach it uh it's it's quite high off the ground uh but yeah it, it's it's definitely it definitely is a bright light for sure for sure for sure uh, next up, y'all know I'm always on about Eufy security products, and this is one of the Eufy security products that I, I absolutely love. Uh, this was before I got my home base and before um, like we had just moved into the new house. We were still kind of... Um, to, you know, kind of changing over, uh, you know, moving from one place to another. So I hadn't had it set up with my back door, or my home base yet, but this is an amazing solo cam. It's the uh, Eufy E40, and it does a really amazing job at, like at our old place, it did an absolutely fantastic job at surveillance. It has a nice 2K resolution, uh, um, a 90 decibel alarm, and it's IP65 waterproof too. So this is my new super easy to install also UV camera. I'm super excited to use it. I looked at the instructions. It's super easy to set up. It comes with actually you are absolutely correct hunter. Don't forget guys hydrate or dehydrate. Let's go. You know, I'm so glad I have this now because anyone anytime someone says hydrate or dehydrate, I can I can swap over and with do the it. mounting screws. You do have to charge it. It'll be flashing blue if it's charging and off when it's fully charged. And then the mounting base for it is super easy to do. You just unscrew this off and fit the screws through these holes and mount it. So I'm going to show you what it looks like from the vantage. There's also a QR code on the bottom that you need to scan if you install the app and you should install the app because that's how you get a lot of the features out of this camera. But basically I'm going to show you what it looks like from that vantage. Then I'm also going to show you how the app works and we'll get started so I have my camera set up now and as you can see I'm gonna go ahead and hit the play button on here on the app um, and just go ahead and allow it all access and allow it to use the microphone so it's going to load the video so it's really hard to see because it's like a recording of a recording no it's a recording of a of a screen receiving a recording technically and um, it doesn't do it justice, but 
this the quality of this cam is absolutely fantastic stunning 2k quality i was amazed at how far you can see it's hard to tell from here but if you look on that straightaway, that pathway goes straight to the parking lot of my old uh, condo complex. And I could see cars if they pulled in from there. Oh, hey, what's up, Justin? Welcome to the stream. Guys, remember what I told you about Justin? Y'all better tell him. And as you can see, it's an amazing view. The quality is absolutely wonderful. I'm going to take my camera over here. Oh, no, you're still coughing, Justin? Do you know what it is? I hope it's not COVID. Here, and you can kind of see it. It's behind the plants right there um, on that little wooden post. And it's looking out. Oh, it's just a cold? Okay, okay. Um, basically on a walkway. Now, one thing that I really do enjoy about the app is that it gives you a notification when there's motion detected. And that's something that's super cool. Not only that, but there's two-way audio that you can use. And there's a lot of accessories um, down here that you can use. You can even hold to speak and it'll come out of the speakers in the device. It also shows how much data is being used by the Wi-Fi connection. As you can see, I have full bars here. So that's something that's amazing. So yeah, just absolutely fantastic cam all around it's really cool i, I love the fact that it, it's because it's a eufy security product you can set it with other things like i said it'll give you a notification when there's movement and you can set the proximity of of um of like where uh it detects the motion which is cool because like you know it, like i said it could see all the way to the parking lot so i don't want to get a notification when someone's pulling into the parking lot right but you can set the proximity so it knows how close to detect the motion and like i said with eufy security apps if you have other eufy security devices such as the home base you can have it set to where it'll give you uh it'll make a sound whenever you have a you know motion is detected so you can know who and and where someone is and i think that that's something that's really cool but eufy did an amazing job they always do an amazing job especially i love just the eufy security line so wholeheartedly it's just really good and right now there's a clickable coupon on the page for this one uh to take 30 dollars off so you can get it for just about a hundred dollars and like i said the stunning quality that you get from this camera is just absolutely undefeated and unbeat and it's just 100 worth picking up if you want to upgrade your security game just like all other eufy security products now, next up on our list, we have this really cool Anchor Soundcore Beat Light RGB strips uh, that James does a wonderful job of showcasing. Now, see, this is where the real James here show begins because the next six products are covered by James himself. The man, the myth, the legend, Sir James a lot. And so we're going to go ahead and get right into those. James here, and today we're taking a quick look, guys, at a new product from Anchor. This is their Soundcore Beat Light B32. What does the B32 mean? It stands for 32 feet of LED strips. Now, this is an RGB plus strip, so they do say it can actually do segmented colors throughout the strip, which is kind of cool if it can. We're going to actually test that and see. I uh, can't really install it today, but we're going to give you guys a quick installing and show you guys a little bit of lighting. Now, they do have a customizable mood lighting effect. <laughs> Sir James a lot. I, I, I just thought of that one on the fly. <laughs> can actually sync with music. Um, but yeah, no, so this, this light set has a really, uh, a lot of cool features. And one of my favorite features about any kind of RGB product is when it syncs up with music. I know I say that all the time, but I absolutely just love that effect so wholeheartedly. And it's just absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to skip ahead to where he shows us a couple of lighting features, uh, on the actual strip itself right here. Uh, this is where he starts. He shows you like how to mount the strips and stuff. Uh, so I'm gonna let him talk about that. Uh, clips now the three adhesive we'll talk about this i'm gonna show this out you can either three adhesive this to the wall to hold the actual strips to the wall and actually use it as that or you can use a screw and screw through this and it does come with the screws to actually screw it because you see him in a suit of armor you know james is that type of comedic relief where i feel like if you put him in a suit of armor he would fart and then pass out from his own fumes inside of the armor. But yes, I could see James in a suit of armor. Into the wall or whatever you're going to actually connect it up there. Looks like you have several pieces of that, which is great that they give you that, plus the two alcohol pads. Then on the other side of this box, you actually have the standard wall brick, guys, of course. But what does it look like and how does it work? So let's take this out, plug this in right here, right? I'm going to... So now one thing that I do want to say is like with this Anchor Soundcore set, you can use the um, the 
the control panel that comes with to change the lighting settings, but the app is just going to give you so many more options. Let's see, James is usually the blacksmith and for the king, rarely a mage. Oh, you know what? I didn't even... Is the blacksmith... The blacksmith is the tank, right? Because that's what he plays. My, every time I think about for the king and James, I just think minus 10 max HP. That's just the first thing that pops into my head. Also, I have missed playing uh, for the king with you guys for two weeks. Uh, we definitely need to get a session in this week. Reach down here. Now I'm going to grab me an LED uh, extension cord. We're going to plug in the extension cord. I'm going to find a... Yeah, I'm sorry. I just been being sick always takes it out of me and throws my schedule for a loop. But I, I'm ready to continue. It's so much fun. I look forward to our Saturday morning for the King sessions. They're always so much fun. Close this box and set the extension cord on there. Then we're gonna grab the LED strip that we actually opened. Full. I oh, there we go. So as you can see, very bright, vibrant colors. I love the fact that he's showing the colors while it's still rolled up because you can see instead of having the actual long expanse, you can see it kind of all there wrapped around and how it works. I actually like this. Now, the controller, of course, guys, right? So we can s recycle the patterns and we can change the patterns just like this. It's really cool to be able to show you guys this with the round and we're going to hit the pattern again. There's a different pattern. Guys, if you want to change it up again, whoa, I was not expecting that. I like that. That was cool. Oh, Rover, you play also? Also, Justin, I meant to ask you, do you know if For the King 2 will have more than three people? Because it would be awesome to, to get like a fourth if we could get like Nate in on Saturdays or someone else. That'd be awesome. Look <laughs> at that. That is cool. So that's like voice activated. If I get quiet, it won't do nothing. If I keep going, it'll actually go back to going. Now, so that's something that I actually really love about this this light set. Like I said, I, I always love that. That's a feature that I look for in RGB products. Like I want to have my music or have my voice like dictate what the lights do because it adds a really nice atmosphere to whatever room you may be in. And he did all this. He changed all those settings from the actual control panel. Now, the the cool thing about it is that if you use the app. Um, you can have so many more light settings. You can customize all your settings too. So you really get a lot of value from the Soundcore beat lights. And what's awesome too is that, you know, for the price point it is, you know, you get 33 feet, um, well, 32.8, but that's why it's called B32 because it's for 32 feet, but you get 32.8 feet or 10 meters of actual light strip. Now, what's really cool for the price point, that's already worth it in my opinion, especially with how many cool effects that you get from the app and from the control panel already itself. But there's a clickable coupon on the page to take off a whole $23 too, uh, which is a big chunk off. I mean, you would be able to get these lights for just just about thirty dollars, which is fantastic, and I think that that's that's so you're basically paying a dollar a foot, which is you know like just absolutely a fantastic price point for these awesome lights, and I would definitely recommend it if you're looking for awesome light lighting effects. Um, we're going to be showing you some other cool lighting products too, but Anchor does amazing lights. Another product that we're doing later is Govi. Govi also do does really awesome um lighting products too so if that doesn't interest you wait we got some more rgb stuff we always have rgb stuff but if any of these interest you definitely click the product page and go to the storefront for uh both anchor and govi to check out some cool lighting products if, if you're looking for uh lighting products but of course it wouldn't be um james if we showed lights without something with sound and so the next product that we have here is the anchor sound core boost speaker that he's going to show us now again as i say with anything with any product that we do that's going to be uh, either sound or some kind of video um, you know video audio quality um, <clears throat> never it's never going to we're never going to be able to give you like a true first-hand experience because you know like we're recording it and especially on stream where we're playing a, a like we're playing a live stream of a recording and so uh, you have to really pay attention to what each dragon blogger tells you about because we're going to tell you we're going to, to the best of our power we're going to tell you uh you know how it sounds what the quality is like whether it's more hollow whether it has good bass uh anything like that so make sure you pay attention to uh what james will say about this product or what uh, depending on what video whatever the dragon blogger will say about the actual quality of it because we'll give you uh you know our best analysis of 
the sound and the video depending on what the product is and so for this anchor sound core boost speaker i can already tell you it's going to sound amazing um and it is amazing and james is going to tell you that so make sure you pay attention to every little point that he says about the actual sound quality yeah james isn't yeah james is an audiophile very very good at, 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 at that's why sounds and lights are his thing he's either gonna blind you or he's gonna deafen you about the you know you talk to james for 30 minutes by the end of the conversation you are helen keller <laughs> James here, and today we're taking a quick look at a new product, guys. This is from Anchor. This is their Soundcore Boost. Now, this does IPX7 waterproof, so do not worry about getting it wet, guys. It ain't gonna hurt it. It does have 12 hours of playtime on a full charge. Sound is to James what Star Wars is to Nikki. I like that. I like that analogy. That's a good one. It does have their base boost technology, plus their customizable EQ if you really need. Now, like I said, fully waterproof, guys. It is 20 watts of power, and it has wireless steering pair. So it is fully waterproof, which is awesome because if you ever want to take this somewhere out to like a beach or something, you know, have like a little kickback on the beach, uh, perfect for it and absolutely amazing sound quality. And I'm going to skip ahead just a little bit to where he shows us some of the features. Now, this is where he's showing us the connectors for it. And this little plastic flap is actually what ensures that there's no internal damage if you are, if for some reason this does get submerged in water because it seals it off and makes sure that water can't get into where the port's ports are excuse me c and your usb plug and what actually is um tws so the true stereo pairing that's kind of cool to actually have that and on top guys we have our power button plus and minus for the volume plus the play and pause button and bass boost up then you have your nfc and well, let's power this up and give you guys your first look oh, hopefully you guys can hear that Quite cool, quite easy. Now, the question is, how do we connect it Bluetooth? Guys, I'm gonna actually check that real quick and I'll let you know. Okay guys, to actually get this in Bluetooth mode, you hold the power button down for two seconds and it'll automatically pair up. Now, now that we did that, I'm gonna set this down here guys, just like this. I'm gonna grab my phone. We're gonna grab the Soundcore app right over here guys. It's gonna pop up and we are gonna go into pair mode. Now we're going to go down here and it's... I, you know, Rover, I absolutely love bone conduction headphones. I, I haven't had a pair of bone conduction headphones in a while, but I have some air conduction ones that I absolutely love. They're fantastic. Any kind of conduction headphones, I really do like. Should automatically detect, and it did right there. Hopefully you guys see this. Anchor Soundcore Boost. So again, uh, with Anchor products, you really want to pick up the app for them because it allows you to do so many different settings like changing the EQ and someone who's an audiophile like James or if you're an audiophile yourself, you're going to want to tweak with those settings and so the app gives you the option to do so. And then we're going to skip ahead to where he does an actual test of the speaker. Update. So I did the firmware update. Now we're going to play this, right? We actually have this in play. We're going to turn the volume up as we go. So we're about a quarter of the way. We have bass boost up, and I'm gonna hit that down, right? Just put it back on. We have minus over here, if you need minus volume. Or plus, bass boost on, of course. Never never quit. We're right, play the game, win your life, have no shame. There's no time, feel the pain, with the grind, I could change in my mind. So you can already hear from that video that those absolutely sound fantastic. Like the, the sound that was coming through, I, I, I don't know how, how it sounds for you guys, but I have uh you know, bass in my head. Like I have a really good surround sound headset and I, my headset could hear the bass from his video. And that's how you know that the speaker is going to have a good amount of bass, a great sound quality. And it's going to come with an app that's absolutely fantastic and amazing. Uh, and so, you know, you can't go wrong with the quality of Anchor products. So that's a, a, a product that I would definitely recommend for you if you're looking for a really nice waterproof speaker. Uh, there's no clickable coupon for it right now, but it's an absolutely fantastic four and a half stars over 25,000 ratings. So, you know, it's going to be an absolutely amazing product. 
Next up on our list, we have a really cool white noise machine that's also covered by good old James here. This is the Dream Egg D1 white noise sound machine with a, a cool light. Now, what's cool about this product is, is that currently it is uh, about almost 50% off, 49% off. Uh, really cool if you're looking for a nice, um, a nice white noise machine. Um, that's really cool. It has a bunch of different uh, sound uh, capabilities. Uh, seven white noise, seven fan sounds, 10 relaxing natural sounds. Uh, you have choices from Bird, Sea Wave, Brook, Little Star, Lullaby, Music Box, Thunderstorm, Rain, Cricket, and a Fetal Tone. And I love having the when I have white noise machines. I love having the ability to do thunderstorms because. I don't get any kind of sleep like the sleep that I get when it's raining and so I love having white noise machines simulate that effect because it's just absolutely fantastic. James here. Today we're taking a quick look at a new product. This is from Dream Egg. This is their white noise machine. This is their D1 model. Now this does 24 soothing sounds guys which is really cool. So you have like I believe it's seven white noises, seven authentic found sounds. You have 10 soothing nature sounds, plus timer and memory function, plus volume control and a headphone jack, which is really, really cool. On top of that, it also has a baby nightlight. So if you put it in a baby's bedroom, it'll work there also. So what comes in the package? Let's pop it open and get right to it and show you guys everything that you get and how it works, right? I'm sure that's all you guys are wanting to know. So you have... Quick little manual, questions, questionnaires. You have the user manual, several languages if you need it, guys. You have the power brick, which is kind of cool. So they give you the power brick right here. With for the oh, USB. hey, what's up, Eric? Welcome to the stream. This is the way. Um, I'm glad you're here. I got another I got another cool Star Wars product at the end of the stream today. One that I, I don't think I've done. I've showed this one on stream yet, so I'm super excited for that. Let's see. I have rain styles going as soon as I hit the bed. I just triggered them. On, I know. I see there you go rain like when it comes to rain and thunderstorms like i said i get no no better sleep than the sleep i get when it's raining and so like i love having those simulated effects this is going to be your actual white noise this will be your fan this will be your music or nature sounds which we'll get to that i feel like funny thing i feel like i couldn't do the fan sounds though because um like, it would just make me think of, like, when I was younger, a kid sleeping at my grandma's place and just being, un like, you know, um, not, uh, or not my grandma's place, rather, but sleeping over at, like, a friend's place and just having the fan and, like, half a blanket sleeping on the floor being uncomfortable and I feel like it would trigger a, trigger a trauma response. Does it make you go to the bathroom? It's not the brown noise, Eric! <laughs> for me and Kata, it's listening to audiobooks. Oh, you read sci-fi books also? Uh, so besides the B-O-F-H, I think that's what it was. Uh, what other sci-fi stuff do you listen to? Let's see, uh, if it was some type of other water, but not rain. Reminds me of camping. See, I love, I just love the rain effects. I love the pit. It's the pitter-patter, honestly. So on the back, you have your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack plug, or you have the DC plug. And that is what we're going to plug in right now is the DC plug. Let's plug this bad boy in and get it going. Now, I'm going to have to switch, plug this in. I'll be right. Okay, now that I have it plugged in, guys, you will see it actually in action. We're going to turn it on, right? We're on, and actually you can hear. I love the little light that it has around the circumference. of Bird sounds already. Now we can adjust the volume up, right? It's maxed out. Guys, yeah, it's actually quite loud. So are you like, okay, so I always ask, are you like more of the Tolkien sci-fi or are you more of like the H.G. Wells sci-fi or maybe you're both? Yeah, see, I, I couldn't, I don't think I could sleep with the birds either, Ed, honestly. White noise. I know. I don't think I could sleep with the white noise either, in all honesty. It has to be rain. For They're white noise. White noise. So, that's white noise. Let's go over to the fans. And I definitely couldn't do the fans either. Like an old school fan sound. Different pitch of fan.
So that's the sounds. Now let's go to actual nature sounds. We have birds chirping. So as you can see, you get a, a wide variety of sounds, whether it's nature, rain, white noise, or fans. Uh, it's absolutely fantastic for you, especially if you if you use them to kind of help you uh, sleep. Yeah, see, like the for me, the fans, the birds. Uh, probably wouldn't work. I have done white noise before and it doesn't really do anything to aid me, but it doesn't it's not like a detriment to my sleep either. I do, like Justin said, thunderstorms, rain, and ocean waves, those do it for me. Um, I, cause I used to love, cause I, I cruise a lot, at least before the pandemic. Uh, and I used to love going out on my balcony and having a nice book and then just reading my book and then putting my book down and just like falling asleep on my balcony to the ocean sounds. And then like, you already know, I already told y'all about the rain. I love the rain and stuff too. So like water stuff really does it for me when it comes to aiding my sleep. But you know, it's always one of those to each his own kind of things. Things. So uh, depending on what you may want to use it for, uh, that's that's basically how you're going to have to go about it. You're going to have to find what's best for you. But it's absolutely fantastic uh, uh, white noise machine, uh, the Dream Egg D1. And like I said, it's 49% off. So you basically get half off. And it's a great value for the sound quality and the array of sounds that you have to go. Now, I was mentioning earlier some lighting stuff, uh, and as PC Phil's not here, but as he says, let's go V. So like the this is this is the Go V RGB IC uh, multicolored smart LED wall sconces, and they're absolutely fantastic. I love Go V products. There's no such thing as like a bad lighting product from Go V. Uh, James does a really good job at showcasing these these uh, sconces, and they have absolutely amazing effects and it's another one of those things where like you get an amazing product out the box but having it with the app is just going to give you so much more so many more options and so much more customizing options too today we're look, taking a quick look at a new product or, pl or plug first in and out onto the downside now the downside I had to skip through some of James's videos because he talks about it for a lot, but basically he's showing you right here uh, what it looks like once you take it out of the box and, and how you're going to go ahead and go about installing it. A lot of this is, is once it's in, guys, you ain't getting it back out unless you have tricks and trades. So right here is the rest of your stuff, and this is what we'll show you. You have the connections of the cables. This is the rest of the connecting in and out for the rest of the wall sconces. Plus you have the wall mounts. Now you can screw this into the wall just like this, right guys? And then once it's screwed in. See, I don't recognize a lot of the, I do, the two that I recognize or is, I recognize Clark and Bradbury. I love Ray Bradbury. He does, he has some amazing work. Uh, but you know something, Rover, I don't know if you're in the uh, the Dragon Blogger Discord, which you guys should be if you, uh, if you guys get a chance. Um, dragonblogger.com slash discord but if you guys uh if you guys ever have any like sci-fi any kind of sci-fi recommendation book recommendations please dm them to me or tag me in the uh, discord for those because i love all sci-fi stuff i haven't got into the dune series but i'm looking forward to my uh my girlfriend just bought some of the dune books and i have i acquired recently some some really cool audio uh, books from Dune. And I found out one of my favorite authors, uh, Kevin J. Anderson, who actually, he just signed a bunch of my Star Wars books and sent them back to me. I was super excited about that. He wrote a Dune book also, so I'm about to get into the Dune series soon. But uh, definitely uh, send me recommendations, tag me anytime, especially if you guys see me online. I love to get to talk to you guys outside of stream also. But we're gonna skip ahead just so we can go ahead and show what these amazing wall sconces look like. We're going to select a pattern. Are those other descents, are those other uh, authors for sci-fi? We're going to go red, green, and we're going to uncheck that, check that. Dune is extremely complex, makes game. You know, okay, so I know it's a little bit of a tangent, but you want to know what's really complicated for me every time. So like I, like I said, I have every, y'all have seen, I have every printed Star Wars book in the extended universe. So like I know how complicated extended universes can be, but there is no universe in my opinion that is more complicated than the Star Trek universe. Like, cause you know, Star Trek and Star Wars are always next to each other. Man, when I see how many Star Trek books there are like i know how many star wars books there are but when i see how many star trek books there are i'm like it's crazy check that we're gonna go right with that one and then we're 
new world. But yeah, I'm definitely going to have to check that out too. See, I've never read, I, I, I'm not a Trekkie in the slightest. I have never done anything Star Trek wise. I'm, I'm big on Star Wars. Right. And you, you could ask me, there, there is very few things that you could ask me about Star Wars that I wouldn't know about, but Star Trek, I'd be completely lost. I don't even know what that dude's name. I only, the, it, look, if you ask me what my favorite part about Star Trek is, all I'm going to tell you is George Takei. That's it. Oh my. That's, that's the only thing. That's the only thing. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> And yeah, I think that too, like, what I tell people, with the, how do you, because people always ask me, how do you read nothing but Star Wars? Because I've read nothing but Star Wars for the past two and a half years. Star Wars, within its extended universe, has so many different genres. Like, there are books that are comedy, there are books that are horror, like what I'm reading right now. Like, I'm reading a book about Star Wars zombies. There's this one author named Joe Schreiber, and he, he does Star Wars zombies, and it's just fantastic. But there's drama, there's, like, the courtship of Princess Leia is all about uh, tea, about Han trying to get with Leia. Like, there's just, there's just so many different complex stories within the timeline that's why i love star wars but back i'm sorry for getting on this y'all y'all get me started talking about star wars and sci-fi i'll go on a tangent for forever I, my apologies <laughs> also i see the influx of viewers guys if you are watching and you are not following please press that follow button to join us for all of our dragon blogger tech and entertainment live streams i'm your host with the most but no toast nikato welcome in everyone welcome in see, we can do a red green pattern or if we check all, we can go to like blue, which is very cool. You can do colors, but we, if we pop over, we can set up some. Oh, uh, Justin, you're the best for that link. I was just about to post it after this product. Yep, thank you, thank you, thank some you. Patterns of some scenes. You guys can see the effects there. That is Aurora. We can do forest. Peggy Klein, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment Live Show family. New flowers. Rainbow effect, it'll actually change back and forth because so as you can see, Govi lights do an amazing job at showing you know they 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 sell themselves with how high quality the RGBIC is because they're very deep and vivid colors. And like I said, when you get a Govi product, when you pull it out the box, good to go, absolutely fantastic, absolutely amazing. But you get the app for it also, you just add layers of complexity to it because you have different customizing options so that you can change and personalize it to be the best for yourself and that's something that's absolutely fantastic it's something that just cannot be beat and these sconces do an amazing job at showing uh what's so cool about govi products now following this one up we have some govi smart light bulbs that james also covers um and so uh, i'm going to jump straight into those but these are the smart bulbs and the smart wi-fi light bulbs and they're really fantastic like i said you cannot go wrong with Govi. Like PC Phil always says, and I say this every time I do a Govi product, uh, thanks to him, but let's Govi, you know? It's just it's just absolutely fantastic. Also, what's up, Kira? Welcome to the stream. Sure. Today, we're taking a quick look at a new product. This is from Govi, guys. This is their RGB light bulbs for your, like, wall sconces or your light, pl uh, light plugs or even your lamps, guys. This is a four-piece kit. does work with... Oh, I gotta read this. Let's see. FYI, the 2009 Star Trek movie has three major eras in it. One, Kirk's father saw him enter Starfleet. Two, Kirk was born in Iowa, not in space. Three, Starfleet would not put a pregnant person on a starship. More. See, I can't even, see. I wish I knew about Star Trek so I could get into the intricacies of of the plots with you because that's something that I've always loved about Star Wars is 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 getting into the intricacies of the plot and talking about them with other people, other fans. Rover, you're gonna you're gonna turn me into a Star Trek fan, and I cannot afford to start buying a bunch of Star Trek books. Do not do this. To a voice yeah. control, remote control, color lighting, warm cool, group control, scene modes, and all of that good stuff. This is their model number H6008. Remember that model number because you will need it to hook it up to the app. Now, like I said, it so again, uh, as he's saying, like you can use these straight up like light bulbs out the box, but you're going to need to know that model number if you're going to want to use the app. And I, I trust me, you're going to want to use the app. So I'm gonna skip ahead to where we see it put it. And I absolutely love his lamp. He has like a like a like me, him, and Justin all like the kind of steampunk uh, industrial aesthetic. And this is something that you re that that I, I love the fact that he uses this light with that, and that's something that's fantastic. Also, what's up, Wiley? Welcome to the stream. Let's see. Listen to the doors, Riders of the Storm while watching stream i've never heard of that what's that is that is that also sci-fi we've been talking about sci-fi all stream <laughs> how easy to hook up it's we need to you know justin you need to make me a carousel um that's just completely sci-fi stuff that'd be awesome oh 
Uh oh, Justin's getting into uh, the the Star Trek intricacies. Let's go! I love, I love. Please, let's facilitate this sci-fi talk. Please. Very easy, guys. You just go to the Play Store, download the Govi Home app. Uh, unfortunately, I already have the Govi Home app on here. You add add device, then you add the model number, which was H six. H six zero zero eight. Though, so like he said, he's showing you now that when you use the app, you're going to need that model number. So I'm gonna skip past him uh, because most of the time with Govi apps, they're super simple and super easy to set up on your own. So we're going to see skip ahead a little bit to where he gets into the actual changing the settings through the actually app. drop the lights in here so you guys can see this truly in full action. So we're just gonna break down some lightage. Uh oh, he's turning off the turn off the lights and light a candle. He's get, he's getting in the mood, y'all. That gives you a little better effect, right? We can go to orange. You guys want to see orange? There's an orange hue. Yellow. Green. Blue. A light blue. Purple. I like purple. Now it, it may not look that great in the lens, but it looks pretty good. Now we do have scenes. We can drop over to some scenes. You guys see we have sunset glow, forest life. Let's go to the festival. Let's do Christmas. It's gonna flash back and forth. Right? Let's do a party. <laughs> so as you can see, a lot of you get a lot of utility out of the app. Uh, and it's very important that you remember the model number. And so it's going to be important because as you can see uh, from the product video that you have all sorts of different uh, options for the lighting from the actual Gobi app. And it's absolutely fantastic. I see the door is the late Jim Morrison's famous rock band. Look, I, I'm going to tell you something. I don't know a lot about old school rock. I'm not a big rock head. I like more like alternative rock, like a day to remember, bullet for my Valentine, like the stuff that the youngins are into. I love that kind of music. Um, so I don't know much about classic rock um, and stuff like that. I know some, but not a lot. Uh, but no, just absolutely fantastic um, RGB kind of really awesome um, LED uh, lights. And what's really cool is that you can get however many you need depending on what your need is. So the four count pack is what, what we're showing you is about $40, but you can also get uh, just one or two or any combination of different lights. Of course, you're going to get the most value if you buy the four pack uh, because it's just going to be cheaper than buying four singular ones. So buy as many as you need. And once you get them set up, it's just really cool that uh, all the lighting effects that you can do. Also, Linda Crawley, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Dragon Ball tech and entertainment live show family while i'm here and while i got you if you guys are watching please 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 hit that follow button and stay up to date with all of our dragon blogger tech and entertainment live streams we're always happy to have new people join our family you guys are always amazing and we love doing giveaways here at um at, at dragon blogger tech and entertainment and just before um just before I go into the next product, don't forget that there is a chance to win the Gigabyte GD G5 gaming laptop or $800 on PayPal by going to www.dragonblogger.com slash win gaming laptop. That is one word, uh, W-I-N-G-A-M-I-N-G-L-A-P-T-O-P. -P. For those of you who can't see the link, you know, just one word, win gaming laptop. You remind me like the weekend. Why do people say that? <laughs> uh, it's always so funny when people come through and say that. I don't see the resemblance myself, but if you say so, I got to go with it, you know? Um, but yeah, please, 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 uh, if you are watching and you can you are, you are can hear my voice, please enter that giveaway for a chance to win, you know, awesome laptop or $800 on PayPal. And, um, you know, make sure you follow so you can stay up, up to date with all of our other giveaways. There are worse things to be compared to. You are correct. That You are absolutely correct. I cannot complain. I'll take it as a compliment because that man makes a lot of money. That man may, I, I wish I made... Half as much money as he did because I promise you I would be very well set off. <laughs> um, 
but the next product that we have up here uh, and our last James here product for the evening is going to be the Obsbot Meet AI powered 4K webcam with auto framing. I love my Obsbot um, cameras. They're absolutely amazing. Also, Anna and Germ, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment family. We're happy to have you here. Uh, but yeah, I love I love my Obsbot devices. Actually, I'm going to uh, show you guys a quick little switch over real quick if I can. So this is my, the current camera that I'm using is the Sony uh, ZV-1. I have to think about how to say that. And though it's, um, it's not the, the camera that I'm about to show you, the Obsbot that I have, is not the exact same model of cam as this one is. Um, it is definitely close. Um, it is a, a, a different AI. It, it's, it's a 4K cam, uh, but it can give you an idea of like what kind of quality you're going to see. So this is my uh, ZV-1 camera, and this is my Obsbot camera. So it's still a really good camera, and it's still really nice 4K quality. Uh, so this is about what you should expect from this camera. But James is going to show us uh, basically what it looks like and show us some of the cool features. I just figured since I had an Obsbot camera hooked up that I would show you what mine looked like so he can show you what his looks like, and you can decide if it's something that you want. Now, what's really cool about the Obsbot cameras is that they have this really cool AI framing and tracking features. Um, and so so, uh, it's definitely worth checking out. Also, Justin is doing a giveaway for this stream. You see, see, asking y'all shall receive. So we're going to be doing a five dollar uh, gift card giveaway uh, during the stream. So go ahead and enter for a chance to win at www.dragonblogger.com/slash/interlive. And also, thank you, Kindle customer, for the follow. I don't, I don't know why Amazon does that sometimes, where it doesn't show the name of the person who's following. But thank you so much for the follow and welcome to the Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment family. Today we're taking a quick look at the new product, guys. This is from Obsbot. This is a new 4K fixed camera, guys. This does have the AI integration, so you actually still have that. Now this will do 4K at 30 frames per second or 1080p at 60 frames per second, guys. That is very, very cool. Now it does have the half inch 0.8 Sony sensor built in and now you guys see this is the little camera itself nice little beast on the back It has a USB-C on the bottom. It actually has a tripod screw hole You know, I'm shocked that the video didn't get flagged for the QR so code you guys got lucky. on top. It has a power plug then they give you Privacy uh, lens cover guys. So you literally pull off that plastic that was on there Put the lens cover privacy on there and you can flip this open and shut as you go so I actually absolutely love the fact that it comes with a privacy cover because people, um, you know, are worried about their privacy sometimes. Um, even even I just just now when I mentioned it with the Obsbot camera, I, I it, it it creeps me out sometimes. Well, not creeps me out, but like because of how it's tracking, it like follows me when I walk around the room. So sometimes I'm walking through my room, just going to the restroom, and I see the the uh, the the thing tracking me, and I'm like. The spies, the spies are watching me. Uh, so it's nice to have that privacy cover uh, for those of for, for those of us who are like more skeptical about always having something monitoring you. Um, and so it's nice that they include that for that model. Oh, now this has 87 degrees of field of view, so a nice wide angle. You know, not too wide, but enough to actually work. If you don't need that. Hey, that's up to you. They do give you one USB-C to USB-C cable. Then they give you a monitor mount stand. And I'll actually show you that a little quick in a second. Then they give you a USB-C to USB-A adapter plug. So it's really awesome that they include that adapter too because a lot of people uh, with older devices may not necessarily have a USB-C slot on their desktop or their laptop. So it's nice that they include that USB-C to USB-A converter uh, so that you can use it on, regardless of what kind of device you have. Now I'm gonna skip ahead to where he shows us the actual quality. So pay attention to the difference. He's using one cam here and he's gonna switch over so you can see uh, the difference. And also, uh, Anna, uh, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening. Thank you so much for the follow and thank you for stopping by our live stream um happy to have you here and happy to have you as a part of the dragon blogger family and thank you thank you. i like my hair too i need to do something with it it's looking kind of a bit of a mess but thank you for stopping by and i hope you have a wonderful rest of your evening the next view you guys are going to see is actually from this 4k and we'll see how good it works right be right back one second okay now that we have the obsbot 4k guys hooked up now remember guys you will need the meet cam software to work 
So one thing about the software too, and it's really important that you do is uh, if you can update the firmware when you use the software, because I promise you it will make th the world's difference than just using the cam straight out of the box. Not to say that you cannot use the cam straight out of the box, but if you have the up uh, the firmware, you know, you're making sure that you're on the most stable version and that you're not going to uh, encounter any issues that you might face if you hadn't had it updated. So it's just really important. Work this if you want all the extras. Yeah, as you guys see, nice, clear, crystal picture. It actually looks... I love how J James has to show off his bling, his giant wad of cash. You know, he's, he's always got to show... He, he James is always low-key flexing on everyone in his videos. You just don't know it. You got to pay attention for it. If you know James, you'll find very, it. Very, very good. I have no <laughs> problems with that. Um, I did do a, a playback. The, the sound wasn't bad, right? It's, it's not too bad. I, I can actually deal with the microphone sound, right? It's not super noisy it's a clear picture guys does have the anti-flicker either off 50 hertz or 60 hertz does have hdr if i set up hdr instantly you guys will see it swap over right now just like that so i don't know if you noticed but when he switched to hdr hdr you saw how like his camera kind of froze and changed when you're doing settings like that uh it's always prefer that you get your settings how you want them to before you actually use the device for streaming or something because sometimes it can cause issues uh he did it and it, it just fine and most of the time it will work fine but it's just a better protocol if you were to uh like make sure all those settings are right but he was just trying to show us the difference between when he turned it on and off just keep that in mind though because i have had i've done it with my obs bot my my 4k tracking cam uh where i've switched it in the middle of like turn hd on HDR on in the middle of streaming and it crashed my streaming software so just keep that in mind if you do have any issues with that does have autofocus so autofocus is automatically on right now if I turn it off then I can autofocus it manually myself if that's what I really want then we can do face focus or I can turn face focus off once face focus off then you can adjust it and stuff like that you have face AE noise reduction and all that cool stuff then you have what's called auto framing now I have a single mode. You guys see it just. And this is what I love about the OBSBOT stuff because even my camera features this too with the auto framing. Now mine is going to be a little different from his. Like mine will either do like the full spectrum, just your head, or it will do the person doing the most motion. Okay, Justin, we'll be here. I promise you we'll be here when you come back. <laughs> auto frame me close up, right? If I want to change it, do upper body just like that. Group mode. If there was more than one person in here, we could do a group mode. Now, a cool thing. So just absolutely fantastic camera. Like I said, I absolutely love the OBSBOT series because it's an amazing tracking cam. And though mine mine is on a swivel and mine will track a little bit better than his, um, it does still do a tracking like his. For the, the price point that you get with that, that AI tracking feature is just absolutely fantastic. The camera itself currently is 15% off. Typically you get it for about 200. Right now you can grab it for about 170. And if you're looking for a really amazing uh, cam to have for like conference calls and stuff it's definitely going to be worth checking out like i'll show you guys uh, a little example with mine real quick so again this is my zv1 right here i'm going to switch over to my obs bot so you can kind of see how the tracking works so like you get a, a very wide frame of view like i have my my zv1 zoomed in just slightly uh because my room's kind of a mess right now just because I'm, I'm in the process of changing things around i'm about to move my desk over there so i can show my lightsaber wall off but as you can see when i'm moving around it it just it's really good at just tracking me and that's something that you'll get from the other uh obsbot device also except uh it doesn't have as much range of motion as mine you only have 86 degrees with his so it will still give you a wide berth and a wide range but um just not as much as, as mine has. And so that's something that's really cool about the OBSBOT tracking features. And, and the more you use it, the, the better it gets at tracking people and faces and stuff. So it's just something that's really cool. All the rest of the products for tonight are products that I have done personally. So if any of you have any questions about them, please feel free to ask because I promise you, I have a lot of experience with a lot of these products and they're absolutely fantastic. But once again, if you are not following, please hit that follow button to stay up to date with all of our Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment live shows. Um, you know, I'm your host with the most, but no toast, Decada. We have other hosts that are typically with us. Uh, we have Aster, James, Nate, and Justin, Mrs. Dragon Blogger herself too. Uh, thank you, Jeff, for the follow 
follow. Welcome to the family. Happy to have you here. Uh, but we're going to be going on to our next product, which is the Fit King Mini Massage Gun. So what's really cool is that this massage gun comes with a nice carrying case, four different heads and stuff. Uh, and basically the entire thing is made out of grip. So, um, you know, it's just really easy uh, to reach anywhere. Uh, and no problem. I I'm happy to have you here. Welcome to the stream, man. Hey, yo. So here is my Fit King. Uh, so I'm going to skip just a little bit to where we actually show you how it works. Uh, one thing that I really like about this one is that it shows you, uh, I, I just really like the colors of the interface. Um, and like I said, the whole thing is basically made out of grip. So it's really easy to get anywhere you want to and use those different heads for whatever uh, part of your body may be ailing. To four different levels and each level it goes up. It, there is a light for it, but it does not have a light to indicate its charge level. Yeah, and that's that's the that's the only thing that's the only issue that I had with this one um, is that it shows you the strength of the massager, but it doesn't show you the charge level. So you kind of got guesswork to do. It's always safe to charge it after a use, but uh, it doesn't give you really any indication. It will go for about six hours on a full charge. So it's something you kind of like got to take a mental note of. Uh, and you know, I be forgetting stuff, so I'm not the best at keeping mental notes when it comes to stuff like this. So it's just recommended to charge this after every use or charge it for at least a little bit after each use to kind of counteract it so you know it's always got some juice in it. Level, so that's something that you're gonna kind of have to keep up with on your own or just make sure it's charging. And then you wanna turn it off, you just hold the button and then the lights will go off and then you know it's off. It's really cool because the material that's here is basically all grip so no matter where you put your hand on it you're going to have a nice firm grip and you don't have to worry about it slipping out of your hand it also has this little vent at the top for the exhaust for the so just a really nice really small really portable and comfortable fit king massage gun just absolutely fantastic um and i just i, I think it's amazing and currently it has a 40 percent clickable coupon also so you can take about 24 dollars off of the price bringing you down to about 36 dollars, which is absolutely fantastic for a really powerful really awesome uh, mini massage gun like this fit king does an amazing job at everything that they make that's going to be um anything massaging i love fit king products they're one of they're one of the brands that us here at um at dragon bloggers wholeheartedly trust and it's just going to be an amazing pickup for you if you're looking for it now uh i try not to pick favorites but aledio is one of is is my absolute i love them so much they are just an amazing company aledio and bexrack and they are um they are they are they're one of my favorites. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say it. I'm just gonna throw it out there. I love their products and stuff. And they did an amazing job on this dual monitor stand riser. And so I'm gonna go show you guys this and just how awesome it is. Super easy to assemble. All their stuff is always easy to assemble and really easy instructions. Hey to everyone, it's Nikita. I'm here to show you another amazing Aledio product. Now this is their dual monitor riser stand. And what's really cool is, as you can see, it has a platform on one side and a platform on the other, and you can put monitors on it. Now, what's really cool about it is that it's super adjustable. So, as you can see, the middle one has this little peg that comes out right here. And so, you can put those pegs. There's three holes on this little panel that I lifted up. So, you can make them closer or farther away depending on what your monitor needs are. Now, I'm going to skip ahead and show you what it's like with both monitors on there at whatever angle is going to be best for you and you can truly customize your entire uh, desk setup really and i just think it's an amazing feature that aledio has included for us now if for some reason you didn't want the dual feature i'm going to go ahead and remove these monitors real quick what's also really cool is because of how this riser is designed if for some reason you got it and you couldn't fully utilize the dual monitor riser technology you could simply just take these off and use it as a singular monitor riser. And, and that's something that's really cool about this too, is like you really do get all kinds of purpose out of this, um, out of this, this monitor riser. If you couldn't use two, you could simply use it as one, but really using it as two is amazing because it's got that little space in the middle. You could put like a plant or something there. And uh, it's currently 35% off regular. It's about $40. Currently you can get it for about 26, but there's also an extra 10% clickable coupon for this product on the page itself. So if you're looking to get a dual monitor stand riser, I would definitely recommend it because it's super easy to install. The price point is absolutely fantastic and Aledio will never let 
let you down. They have never let me down. I have loved every single Aletia product. I could not say a bad thing about Aletia if I tried. Now, the next product is another one that I fell in love with super easy. And it's because y'all know me. I love my plant babies. And so this Aletia hanging planter with melamine pops pots sorry is absolutely fantastic and it just it looks wonderful and i want to get another one um because of how awesome they are in front of the lights so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this so here we have the Aledio melamime pots and i absolutely love them they're amazing fantastic and they were so easy to assemble i love plants and so does my girlfriend and so the fact that we have this is absolutely amazing it's a one and yeah, I agree, Rover. Really good for a flat desk. That's what we use it, the that monitor riser on. Too. Wonderful centerpiece. It was really easy to install. All you simply have to do is put the top bar together and then adjust the strings to get the height as even as possible by measuring them out. And then you just tie them at the top. I cut off the extra parts at the top and I've got them hanging like this. Now, these are really awesome because we were able to put them down long enough to still get sunlight when we raise the blinds up. And it's just fantastic how amazing they look, all four of them together. I kinda wanna get more so we can put more of these around the house, but they just look so beautiful. And and I really do. I really do want to get more of those because they just look absolutely amazing. Uh, for the price that they're at too, it's just, it's, it's one, if you're, if you are a plant lover like I am and you have the space to show off something like this, uh, whether it's in front of a window or just, you have like a ledge that you can hang them off of, it will absolutely just, um, just look absolutely fantastic. Um, I think that it's one of like the coolest plant plant products that I've had so far and I just wholeheartedly love it. It's fantastic. It was super easy to assemble and that's something that you always get with all your products. They're always super easy to set up and use and there's not a lot of process. They always include extra parts and stuff in case you're clumsy like I am and happen to lose a screw or something and you're just going to just I promise you, if you get anything Aledio, you're going to love it. It's definitely worth clicking uh, that product page and going to the Aledio storefront. They have all sorts of things that help you with home management. And I am so thankful for them to sit, for sending me um, so many cool products, especially moving into a new home. And so uh, Aledio forever has my heart. Honestly, I hope they're watching the stream uh, because I really do enjoy your products. Please keep sending them to me because they're absolutely fantastic and I will always advocate for you. <laughs> uh, next up on our list, we have a really cool canvas backpack that I also love. It features a really cool USB port on the side where you can charge your devices through a little hole that it has that you can plug into a power bank and I think that's really cool. For the price point, the aesthetic, and all the cool features that you get, it's an absolutely fantastic uh, book bag to have uh, whether you're a student, a traveler, or you just want a, a really cool backpack. So this here is my Modiker uh, canvas backpack. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Um, it comes in a really nice package and it's sealed so you know that it's going to be uh, fresh. It's not going to smell. It's going to have that new backpack smell when you open it up. Um, and just straight out, it feels really nice. It's, it feels like it's made out of really high quality material. Um, I like how it has the buckles um, for the aesthetic. Um, but it also has um, these clips for it. Um, as you can see, there's a lot of space um, in here, and this isn't even the main compartment. There's also this little zip part right here um, where you can put, it doesn't go that deep. It goes, it fits about my hand. So it's about like a solid um, five to six inches of space um, that you have in there. And then it also has two uh, compartments on the side uh, where you can put, um, put bottles or, uh, drink so I want to skip so I can show you guys this really cool. So the, the coolest feature about this backpack is this little USB port on the side that I'm about to show you about. It's it, it's like the selling point for this canvas backpack. Like the for, the the one thing. Okay, it's one of the main selling points. The first selling point that got me is the aesthetic. It has that really nice hipster kind of old school canvas backpack vibe that I love. But this is the next biggest selling point in my or opinion. This is the USB where you can plug up a phone and have a little charge going. Um, it has a zipper here for the function of that. So as you can see, um, here's the little cord uh, for the actual USB thing. 
and it's just fantastic. Now, you what you can do is you can put a little, um, you can put a little power bank on there, and then have it feed through, so that while you're using, while you're walking with your backpack, you can be like charging your phone, charging a uh, media device. Oh, we got a new subscription on Twitch. That's awesome. Thank you so much for the subscription on Twitch. I'm sorry I don't have the Twitch chat pulled up, so I can't thank you personally. But we do appreciate any kind of sub that we get from our Twitch streams. Um, but thank you for letting me know, Wiley. I appreciate you. But yeah, this backpack is absolutely fantastic. Like I said, one of the main selling points is that USB slot on the side that you can charge your devices with if you want to. But the overall aesthetic and the comfort of this backpack is absolutely fantastic. And you just cannot beat the way it looks. It is an absolutely fantastic uh, canvas backpack to have and Madoka does an uh, amazing job at all their backpacks It's definitely worth to click the product page and go to the Madoka storefront So you can see all their other awesome backpacks that they have Next up on our list. We have a really cool juicer I had never juiced anything before I got this product and I was absolutely Surprised and amazed at how awesome this thing works and the juice tasted fantastic um, I got some some fresh fruits and vegetables to use I believe for this test I used apple celery and carrot and it came out absolutely amazing It did a it was super easy to set up and it did a really great job and uh, disposing of the waste in the waste cup. It's currently 30% off too, so if you're looking to get into a juicer, for the price point that this thing is at, it's about $140. It's really worth it, especially if you wanna get into the world of juicing. So I have uh, some cut up apple, carrots, and celery that I'm going to use to juice. I'm really excited to see how it's going to taste and how it's going to work. I've done it with berries before and it came out absolutely amazing. So I have high hopes for this. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and start feeding my fruits and vegetables up through the top. It's working through them right now. One thing that I love about it is the fact that it comes with a press that you can use in case you, uh, the fruit and vegetables get stuck and you kind of push it back down in there. So what I think is really cool is that it does come with this press so if it can't naturally get it on its own through the spinning of the little um, device inside that pushes it forward through the strainer, uh, you can manually force it down. Now what's really cool is the yield of this thing is absolutely fantastic. I was shocked at how much juice that I got from the... So I only cut up one apple, uh, two celery sticks, and just a couple of small mini carrots and I got a... Uh, a lot of juice as juice you can see. I got out of that container. It's just right at 10 ounces. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a taste test. And, oh my God, it tastes absolutely, it was so sweet, like I loved it. It tasted absolutely fantastic. And the thing is, it's super easy to use and really easy to clean. You don't necessarily need the instructions to set it up. It's kind of straightforward on how you set it up, but the instructions will help if you can't figure it out. And it's super easy to take apart and clean. Um, took almost no time. I wanna say assembly time for the actual juicer took maybe two to three minutes, if that. And the cleanup time and letting everything like to, to take it all apart and clean it up took maybe about 10 minutes. Uh, it's not a lot. The, the, the hardest part is cleaning that strainer. Uh, be careful because it is kind of like sharp on the inside. So you gotta be careful. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend cleaning it with a sponge because it can rip up the sponge. But it's once you get that clean, that is the hardest part. It's super easy to use, uh, super fantastic. And I love the Am Chef uh, cold press juicer. It introduced me to the world of juicing and I'm forever thankful. Now, y'all know me. Actually, in fact, since I'm about to talk about it, uh, talk about some water, let's uh, hydrate or dehydrate, everyone. Let's go. Uh, but yes, um, this next product is one that's absolutely fantastic and I love by it. Uh, how hard to clean the juicer. If I had to rate it on a scale of one to 10, I'd say it's maybe like a four, honestly. It's not hard. Like I said, the hardest part to clean is that little uh, grate that's inside of it, uh, which is where um, it filters the juice out from the like the pulp and it pushes through that strainer. So sometimes you gotta go over it a couple times to make sure you get all the little fruit chunks or vegetable chunks out of it. But it's not hard to clean. It's just that is the hardest part to clean, if that makes sense. Um, so it's not it's not difficult at all, I promise you. But y'all know me, I love water. Um, and this thing has changed my life. This is the AquaQuest 
aqua crest inline water filter it lasts for five years and i've plugged it to my new samsung fridge now the samsung fridge that i have already has a filter system built into it but now that i have this plugged on i kind of have a double filter system and what's amazing about it is the water quality has gone up so high since i've used this thing and i i think it's absolutely fantastic and i love it what's cool about it is the water that comes out tastes like bottled water quality like, it, it really does taste like bottled spring water because i have that double filtration process going on and the you know i know nothing about plumbing and i'm not going to pretend like i know anything about plumbing plumbing but this thing was super easy to install and they give you all the instructions that you need to and it's just it's so easy so here is everything for my aqua crest aq I N L five year inline water filter. I'm going to install this to my Samsung refrigerator so that I can just get that. So th this is literally all the pieces that really come with it. Like that, that's it. it, it that's, that's what I'm saying. Like it, it's just so easy to use. Honestly, 10 to 15 minutes of work. I've basically got the, Okay. So the, the, and, and like I said, it takes about 10 to 15 minutes to fit, like to fully assemble and install it. But most of that time is spent running water through the filter because when you get it it recommends that you flush it out for about five minutes and that part of the install process took the longest that i i straight up that that's what took the longest time was flushing out the filter but once i flushed it it was super easy to use and just ready it's to go set up first you have to turn off your um refrigerator line um to make sure that no water's running when you unplug it from the actual refrigerator and then uh once you get the little setting um, that little uh, screw set up there and plugged into the filter you want to let the filter run for about five minutes which is honestly the part that takes the longest is just uh, making sure that you um, flush out the filter and then you set up this little piece right here um, and plug it into the actual so it's super easy. Once you have it set up the way the instructions show it to you, you run the line from the wall into the filter and then you run the filter to the refrigerator and bada bing, bada boom, you're ready to go. It's super easy. Like I said, the longest part of the process is just simply flushing the filter. You got to flush it for about five minutes and then you're good to go. And I, the, the, like right now, the water that I drink is from this and it's just amazing. I will, so like we always buy bottles of water uh, you know, because we live in a hurricane zone, it's just nice to have those bottles of water ready just in case water goes out or a hurricane happens, you know, you have those supplies. But I was buying bottled water to drink and I will never buy a bottle of water to just drink for pleasure ever again because now that I have that AquaQuest filter, I never have to worry about the quality of my water Port Arthur water is already better than Houston water. And when I moved here, I was thankful that it had really good, nice, clean tap water. But now that I have that Aqua Crest filter and I have the filter that's already built into my Samsung fridge, I get double filtered bottled water quality from my fridge that tastes like spring water and it's just absolutely fantastic and it cannot be beat so i highly recommend getting this um it's super cheap it's easy to easy and simple to install and i like I, I hoot and holler about it all the time i would recommend it to anyone who has a fridge that dispenses water honestly it's you, i promise you you will not regret it now the next product uh, that I have here, cause I'm a big coffee, tea and hot chocolate drinker. I love my hot drinks. And this thing is perfect for making tea. Uh, this is going to be the Bideem um, Tea Maker. Uh, absolutely fantastic. The model number is K2423. And what I really like about this thing is that the interface is super easy to use. You have a boil water option. You have four options for different types of teas. You have black, oolong, white, and green, and they're all set at different temperature settings. That's best for the, that's most optimal for the tea type that you're using. And it's just absolutely fantastic. So this is my By Dean kettle, and I am absolutely amazing to use this kettle as a tea maker. Um, that's what it's marketed as. So, of course, I've put <laughs> some nice uh, tea in there. I have this really good jasmine tea that I've been looking forward to using. And so I've preloaded my little thingy here with some tea. Uh, it's really easy to use uh, this part. You just got to whatever this line is lined up with. That's how you know um, what the position of the container is. So right now it's closed. I'm going to go ahead and switch it over to open just so I can show you that it's loaded with tea already. And then when I want to put it back on, I just line this, this little line up with the open and push it down. Hold on. I got to make sure it's settled properly. We'll go ahead and line those up and then turn it to close. And then I'm good to go. Now, if you look here at the tea maker itself, 
it has a really nice panel here that basically tells you so it shows you the different temperatures uh, for each setting too, which I think is really cool because I didn't know that different teas had uh, different temperatures to use. And I, you know, R Rover, I was curious about that too. I wanted to, I, I, I'm curious as to how it will work with coffee, but I wouldn't know if I needed to grind the beans or if I could just put the beans straight in. Uh, but if you have any recommendations, I would definitely be willing to try it out. But I don't know what temperature you have to put the coffee in. But I was curious about that also. I want I want to know if coffee grounds are working. Do what you can do. So um, you can just boil water as a kettle. You can set it for. I'm gonna skip. It doesn't it come out. Bit. But we've just got water and some good tea. So. I'm gonna go ahead and place this on, press it down and make sure that the top is secured. And it is. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hit the green tea button and then it's gonna get started. And so I will basically bring it back once it's done and show you guys the finished result. So the tea just finished brewing and it made a beep sound. And now you can see that this button is flashing. But as you can see here, the tea is done. It looks amazing. I'm oh I might have to try that I'm gonna have to I mean you know I because I, I, I really want to see if I could use this thing with coffee so I might have to look into those so ready to pour myself a glass in fact I'm gonna go reach up here and grab me a teacup because I'm going to enjoy this but if you're looking for a very amazing and fast brewing system for your tea definitely check out this by Dean kettle. It took maybe about four minutes to get to where we are. And I've got some amazing tea ready to go. I absolutely love that tea maker. It's absolutely fantastic. We've been using it nonstop. I used it to actually make some milk tea the other day and my girlfriend absolutely loves it. Um, I love getting to make her stuff with it. Uh, so I'm super happy that I have like a, a personalized tea maker. And what's also cool is if I didn't want to use it uh, for tea, because I have a Kosori electric kettle, but this one not only does tea, but it also just boils water too if I want to use it for other things uh, too, like have it for some ramen noodles or anything. So it's just something, it's all purpose. You know, you can use it for boiling water you can use it for boiling tea and i just think that that's absolutely fantastic now next up on our list we have some really cool airtight um storage containers that i absolutely love i still use these for my different snacks cereals oatmeals um and these are the clear space airtight containers they're just absolutely fantastic and you get a whole bunch of different sizes um and different um you know storage options uh and it's currently 22 percent off regular it's about 45 dollars but currently you get it for about 35 dollars, so it's about 10 dollars off and it's just absolutely fantastic so this is my 14 I love it when a lot of products are mine because I can actually like tell you guys every little intricate detail about these, especially if you, if you have any questions, please, please, please feel free to ask me. Piece uh, storage container set and I absolutely love it. Here you can see um, some of the ones that I've used and the ones that I have left over. Now there's four different sizes as you can see. These two right here are the tallest size and just for reference, this is an entire freshly opened bag of frosted mini wheats. Yeah, and I was super, I was shocked because I, I knew that it was big, but I did not think that it would hold an entire bag of cereal, but it does. And it just saves up so much space because this takes up a lot less space than an entire box of cereal. And you don't have to worry about rolling the bag back up and making sure the cereal stays fresh because they're airtight. So you know that there's no extra air getting in once you open the bag of cereal. So it will hold an entire bag of cereal. Um, and then I've got, I had to split the oatmeal into two because, um, the entire container was a little bit too much and I kind of wanted to, there was just a little bit left. So I poured some that I filled this up into here just to have it, you know, this one just not be using, you know, just a little amount. And then of course I filter pack coffee. Okay. Do you recommend any specific brand? Like, are there any ones that you've tried that you personally like? Cause I I'd rather take something that you recommend than me searching on my own and just shooting in the dark you know? Put rice in this one this is only three sizes there's a size in between these two and it's this one right here um, that you can see it's just kind of slightly taller than this one is but it's a nice 14 pack set and I absolutely enjoy it um, very so yeah, just absolutely wonderful 14 pack set. If you're looking for some really nice airtight containers that you can use for all sorts of things, snacks, cereal, rice, oatmeal, anything that can be stored that you want to make sure is fresh and airtight sealed, um, definitely worth checking out. Uh, Max, oh, I grew up drinking Maxwell House. We, uh, uh, I think that's, I'm pretty sure Maxwell House is the brand that my cousin used to drink 
or that she still drinks. Uh, and that was what I had growing up. Uh, but she used to, she, sometimes she would ask me to make it for her in the morning and she complained that I would make it too strong because I would put too much coffee in there. But I do enjoy Maxwell House, so I'm definitely going to have to check those out. Now, next up on our carousel is another Clear Space product, um, and we still use this one also. We have this one inside of our refrigerator that we use for different bottles and stuff, and uh, I absolutely love it. Uh, right now, we're using it for... Um, I love... Uh, flavored sparkling water. So we have a bunch of different flavored sparkling water in there, which is why I couldn't bring this uh, product out to use or to show you guys uh, hands-on. But it's an absolutely amazing uh, water bottle storage system. You can put actual water bottles in there. You can put soda bottles in there, you, whatever you want to. It's able to hold and conform to whatever shape the bottle is. Even if the bottle is smaller than the space allotted, it's definitely going to be good for organizing, especially if you have a lot of water bottles like we do. I have my two tier two by three uh, water bottle holder. Basically, you could have it as uh, two separate three bottle holders if you wanted to, but I like to stack them just. Yeah, and I like to stack them because it helps you save by using more vertical space than having it spread out. To have the, you know, more um, surface area on, you know, whatever table I plan to put it on. And really, it's super easy. It just fits on. You just got to make sure that these little uh, curved parts fit on the edges on all sides, both the sides and the back. And then, um, you know, you could even buy more than one set and have this stack multiple high because each one can function as the top or the bottom as you can see this bottom part has hooks too but basically that's honestly it once you go ahead and do that you can just start putting bottles in wherever you want i have a couple that i've brought here just to demonstrate um they're all uh, different diameters um you know this one being the widest this one being the longest and this one being the smallest and so so just very straightforward product, really easy. I love the fact that if you wanted to have more and just have a, a, if you have a lot of bottles, if you wanted to buy two sets, you could stack them on each other. You can buy them in a two pack, a four pack, or a six pack. And what's really cool is that they there's also a 5% clickable coupon on the page for them too. So it's a really nice deal, especially like I said, if you have a lot of water bottles, because we have, we have a ton. I have more water bottles than I, I, I any one human would ever need. And my girlfriend is in the same situation. And so uh, it's just really, Really nice to have and like I said I love the fact that you can stack them on top of each other so that you can utilize more vertical space and it just makes uh, organizing your water bottle super easy and just you know it's, it's ready to go now the next product that we have again is it's not a water bottle but it's a really nice tumbler that I love and it's it's vacuum insulated which is really cool it keeps your cold drinks cold and your hot drinks you know hot for longer and what's really cool is it comes with these two awesome metal straws a cleaner for the straw and then two rubber heads for each of the straws uh, my girlfriend is currently using it she loves this thing it's it was it, it was the first tumbler. I've had tumblers before but I, I went ahead and gave this to her because it's the first tumbler that she's ever really had and it does an amazing job uh, she one time she put in uh, just some ice and water in there and uh, she was just using it and I used it the next day for stream and I was like, oh, can I have the tumbler back so I can show it on stream? And when I grabbed it, there was still ice in there. So it lasts. That vacuum insulated tumbler technology is just absolutely fantastic. So this has quickly become one of my absolute favorite tumbler sets. This thing is absolutely amazing at keeping your colds cold and your hots hot. I've had to use it this weekend. Um, to travel with some family uh, for a 4th of July celebration. I got to use it all day out on the beach with some ice in it and the ice stayed in it and I absolutely love it. It's just amazing and it does its job. It's got a really nice texture and a really cool color that I love. A very simple aesthetic, not a lot to it. Um, and what makes it even better is the accessories that it comes with. So it comes with two metal straws that I really like. One that's kind of bent um, and one that's completely straight. It also has these little caps What's up, Evans? Welcome to the stream. I'm happy to have you here. How you doing, buddy? One clear and one black that you can put on there. If you didn't want to just straight up uh, touch the in the metal ends, maybe, um, you know, it could be outside in the so it's really nice that it comes with those rubber covers because if you have a hot drink, that straw is going to get hot and you don't want to scald your lips or anything. So it's really nice that it comes with that rubber uh, rubber tips for the end. Uh, it comes with two of them too. But my favorite feature about this, uh, the, the accessories at least, is the fact that it has that really nice brush that just fits in super easy and it's just really easy to clean. Absolutely amazing tumbler set. And for the price that it's at, 
Uh, it's twenty dollars. Really nice color, and it has different color options. It's just a fantastic tumbler. You could get it in black, hot pink, navy blue, which is the color that I have. Regular pink, and then white. And there is also a fifteen percent clickable coupon on the page. So if you're looking for a really nice tumbler, definitely check it out. Also, one thing, and you know, I tell you this all the time, Evans. Please don't ever apologize for being late. We're just happy to have you here. Uh, doing better, still coughing, but better. You know, I'm glad. Justin is is um still coughing. He's got a chest cold, I believe, and so. Um, you know, I hope both of you start feeling better soon because we got to have y'all nice and healthy, you know, y'all got to be healthy. Um, but so next product, you know, we get the full spectrum of Nikita products here. Cause we got, cause y'all know me plants, water, and smell goods. We already did plants and water. Uh, we had the Aletio, uh, hanging pots and then the water filter. Now it's time for smell goods. So this is a really cool, uh, very unique aroma game, uh, by organic aromas. And it is a game of essential oils. I absolutely love this thing. And it's very fun. Um, you know, for people who are, uh, into, uh, you know, essential oils and smells, um, it's a very educational game too. It teaches you a lot about the different essential oils, um, and basically how they get them and stuff. It's just, it's, it's informational, it's fun and it smells good. So like, what else could you want more from a, <laughs> a game like this? Also, yes, as Justin just let us know, uh, don't forget there's a chance to win a $5 Amazon gift card uh, at the end of stream by going to www.dragonblogger.com slash enter live. So don't forget. So I'm super excited about this and I'm so glad that it's finally come. This is um, Aroma, a game of essence. And basically you can play it with um, uh, four other people. Um, I said for other people, but I meant for people. Uh, so it, it you can do like depending on what what mode or what game type you're playing, you can do two. But it's best with four people. I and it's you. really cool because if you love things that smell good, this is definitely going to be um, a game that you're going to enjoy. And it's really fun too. So the four colors are indicative of like the four. Uh, players obviously but also the four different types of games you can play there's uh discover which is the red one survive uh which is the purple one revolve which is the yellow one and then the green one is collect also one second obi i think obi's knocking at my door so i need to bring him inside real quick so they each have um you know different objectives um for discover you have to identify your five aromas uh faster than your opponent in survive you have to eliminate players by naming all of their scents and then in revolve um you smell and pass the oils around and you try to like identify which one it is and then in collect okay. you find all the aromas that uh belong in your category and i know it may sound like a lot and it kind of is but like you get used to it super fast especially the more you play it so one thing that I will say about this game, it's really fun and it's really entertaining, but there is kind of a learning curve. Uh, for the first like for the first three times or so, it takes a while to get used to it, and it's really nice to have the rules there with you. But once you get the hang of it, it's super easy, it's super fun. I love my favorite game mode is survive because basically you have to kind of like keep naming off essential oil scents and they can't repeat. And if you it's just, it's, it's really fun. And I love the fact that it comes with all of those different, um, those different essential oils too. Like if you, if you didn't even want to use the essential oils for the game, you could actually just drop those essential oils into the infuser. And one thing that I really like about them is like, I have, I've had different, a bunch of different brands with a bunch of different, uh, essential oil smells. And these are, they're small, but they're really strong. They're almost like super essential oils. Uh, they're really concentrated and they smell really good too. And it's just one thing that I love. Like this is one of the most unique games that I've ever played. And I would highly recommend it to anyone who's an essential oils enthusiast, anyone who wants to get into essential oils, or anyone who just likes really fun kind of games to play with their friends and family. And I, I promise you, you're going to enjoy it. It's very unique and it's very fun. Now, before I get on to the next product, which is also another essential oils product that I love. Uh, just going to go ahead and echo out that in addition to the $5 Amazon giveaway that we have at the end of this stream, there's also a chance to enter for um, 
to win a Gigabyte GD G5 gaming laptop or $800 on PayPal by going to www.dragonblogger.com slash laptop. That's one word. W-I-N-G-A-M-I-N-G-L-A-P-T-O-P. Uh, win gaming laptop. And, uh, you know, it's our big dog giveaway for right now. So make sure you enter for a chance to win because I promise you, you won't regret it. Who doesn't want to try to win a free laptop, especially a gaming one? But the next product that we have on our showcase for today is going to be the Asa Kuki Smart Diffuser. And I, I absolutely love this thing. It's fantastic. It's one of my favorite diffusers. It's really cool. Um, it's another one of those products that it will work straight out the box because the only thing that it comes with is the diffuser itself, a little um, cup that you can use to measure out water and pour in, and then the actual plug itself to just plug into the wall. Uh, it has little hardware buttons that you can use. But when you have it with the app and you combine it with the app, you just get so much more utility out of it and so so many you can do so many more cool things with it so here is uh, the app and how, how this diffuser absolutely pops in a room with the lights off it's absolutely amazing for the sake of showing off uh, the wonderful colors and the logo and brand I'm going to keep the lights on for a little bit I'll turn the lights off again when I show you guys some of the cool features but this I'm going to skip ahead to the part where I show you the app because that's, that's honestly the app is one of the best selling points of this smart diffuser. Um, how you want it to do so like right now I have the gradient going I can turn it off if I want to turn it back on um, I can change it to a fixed color um, if I wanted to so if I wanted to just be green it could just be green if I want to just be blue it just be blue um, I can also change the brightness level so if I want like a dark blue it'll go there if I want to turn it like mid uh, maybe want to go to purple. Maybe I want a really bright purple. Um, it does really well. And it looks a little bit better uh, with the lights off. I can show you some more uh, colors here. Like here we'll go to yellow. Bring the yellow down a little bit. As you can see, that's kind of how the brightness level changes. Um, and then it also functions as a night light too. Um, it's just an absolutely fantastic diffuser and for the price point and all the cool features this is definitely one of the best diffusers that i've ever had it's just it's just a fantastic diffuser. I always recommend this one for people who want to get into essential oils because of how easy it is to use. Um, and it's also cool because you can set it up to like Alexa and or, and or Google Home if you wanted to. And it's just a really amazing smart diffuser to, to have. Asa Kuki did an amazing job with it. I love the semi-opaque covering that it has and the wood bottom that it has. It just makes it absolutely fantastic and it does an amazing job at setting uh, a mood for a room depending on what color you want to use and you know it does an amazing job at the output of the mist for the actual essential oils like this thing can fill up a, a small room uh with the smell in less than five minutes it's just fantastic the output is amazing and it just looks wonderful it's it's an amazing centerpiece to have in any room or even if, if it's not a centerpiece you could put it in a corner and run it and i promise you it's going to look absolutely fantastic the next up on our carousel, we have uh, a really, I love Bedshire products. Everything from Bedshire is going to be super soft and super fantastic. Uh, this first product is one that I use all the time, especially when I'm sitting on the couch and reading. It's a waffle weave blanket and it is, uh, let me tell you something. I, I didn't even have to wash it when I took it out of the pack because of how soft it is. And I would recommend this to anyone who loves to sit there and lounge with a nice comfortable blanket. It's regularly about $70, but right now you can get it for 50 because it's 29% off. And there's also an additional 10% clickable coupon. So you can take another $5 off of it too. So it's just going to be a fantastic buy. I love this thing and it's a wonderful blanket. So this is the Bedshire Waffle Weave Cotton Blanket. This is the queen size. It's a soft, lightweight bed blanket that you can use during any season. You don't even have to use it on your bed. You can use it as a throw blanket while you're sitting. See, that's what I use it for. I use it as a throw blanket. I'm going to skip ahead to where I take it off so you guys can see it in more detail. It's also pretty thin. I'm trying to find the end so I can show you. Yeah, it's, it's a fairly thin blanket. So it's something that I definitely wouldn't use by itself if you're going to use it in your bed. 
So that's the one thing that I actually like. I I, I know it sounds like I'm kind of hating on it in the video, but I promise you I'm not. I love the fact that it's thin because it's a queen size blanket. So it's really easy for you if you're sitting there and you you're too cold with it. You can fold it a couple of times because of how wide it is, especially if you're using it just for yourself, and you will still be comfortable. Now, one thing that I love about the waffle wee waffle weave feature is that it does a really good job at holding the heat under the cover too. Like even though it's thin, the heat does not escape easily and it's a very comfortable warm blanket. But if you're going to just have it as like a throw that you just toss over yourself while you're sitting on the couch or something, then it's definitely going to keep you nice and comfortable and warm. Like I said, it feels really soft. The material is really nice. I mean, I'm trying to get in so you can see just the quality of the, the like embroidery on the um, in between each of these these little squares. So just an absolutely fantastic blanket. Bedshirt products are always super soft and super high quality. You can always tell just from the first touch that they're going to be amazing. And this bamboo blanket is just fantastic. I, like I said, uh, for, for this product too, uh, it's one of those products that like, if you if you are not interested in this specific product, please click the link and go to the Bedshire Homefront page so that you can check out different Bedshire products uh, that are available because they're always soft, they're always fantastic. You never have to worry about a quality issue or anything. You know you're going to get the best bang for your buck with a Bedshire quality. Um, and so I, I love Bedshire products. Uh, uh, products and this next product is another cool one. Uh, it's a waterproof mattress protector and you know we have uh, we don't have any children not yet at least uh, but we do have pets and sometimes we let our pets sleep with us and so having this is just this next product is just really good um, in case maybe there's an accident like we've never had to worry about an accident but we have that insurance just in case that there is an accident um, and it's just really amazing. Um, it has a really nice 3D air fabric, uh, and it's a, again another bamboo mattress, uh, another bamboo product. Uh, and there's also a $20 clickable coupon on the page for it too. So again, definitely worth checking out, and super soft as as expected from Bedshire. So this is the Bedshire queen size mattress. So I was using this on my queen size mattress, and it's it is the queen size but it's one of those things where like when you put it on your mattress you don't have to worry about it uh being a tight fit like typically when i have mattress covers like this it's it, you know it can be a one person job uh but it's easier if you have two this product was like the way it fit so well across the mattress i i never thought about using a second person i was able to do it by myself and it was super easy with room to spare but it wasn't so loose that you had to worry about it slipping off it fit really nicely with room to spare so you know that regardless of the height of your mattress this mattress protector will definitely cover it i also really love the material it feels really nice and as with most bed shirt products all their stuff is super soft and super comfortable the best part about this though however is that it is waterproof has protection from bacteria and dust bites, which is absolutely amazing as we have a dog. The cage is right next to the bed, but recently... I remember when we were still cage training OB. <laughs> we've been having him sleep in the bed more often with us, and occasionally he will have a small accident when he gets too excited, or he might um, vomit from eating too much or too fast, too much water and stuff like that. And so we were really worried about that, but having this... But yeah, no, this bed shirt product was absolutely fantastic. And though he, we've never had to use it for those waterproof or spill proof purposes, uh, it's nice to have that insurance so that, you know, if some have, because it's, it's always easy to wash sheets and, and comforters and stuff, but it's really hard sometimes to get stains out of mattresses. And the fact that we have this extra layer of protection on our mattress, which is super fantastic. Uh, and like I said, bed shirt products are always high quality this waterproof mattress protector is definitely worth it and so if you're looking for a mattress protector regardless of what size mattress you have definitely check out the bed shirt page because i promise you they'll have something that's going to work best for you now we get on to the real fun i i i you know i always say we save the best for last but these next couple products are absolutely fantastic because they're you know they they, they bring out my inner child 
Uh, so the first product that we have from DRC tonight is going to be the H100 R or H120 sorry RC boat and I love this thing. It's fantastic. It comes with two batteries. You do need to get AA batteries for the remote, and it comes with a lot of other cool accessories that you can use uh, to have. Uh, you can display the boat on the stand that they include. It has grease for the innards, so you can make sure that it stays um, in peak performance at all times. But it's an absolutely amazing boat it's super fast and i love drc for this so here is my h120 and the propellers and stuff it doesn't weigh that much actually it's very um kind of lightweight um it has like about a pound and a half maybe two on it and then um here's some other stuff that come with it um it looks like there's like a usb adapter um some plugs and stuff um maybe a stand um but i'm you guys here, Justin, make sure you go ahead and get your entries for that $5 Amazon gift card at the end of stream, www.dragonblogger.com slash enter live. He'll be drawing during the last product, which is obviously going to be my favorite product because it's Star Wars. So make sure you get those entries in. You've got about 10 minutes left to enter. So go ahead. I'm going to go look through the manual, uh, let you guys know about all the features and stuff, and then basically show you it running in a pool. So stay tuned. So I've got it all set up. It's really easy. You just kind of unflip some uh switches at the top of it um and then you slide the battery in it has a lock in place for the battery make sure it is fully charged because if you don't have it fully charged when you um put it in there um it will just stop on you um but you can only pair it when you put it in the water it won't pair outside of the water and the instructions are really clear and easy to follow um as you can see, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with it. Um, it does go really fast. I really like it. I have, this is about a 20 yard uh, length pool. Um, and you know, it has no problems reaching on the ends of the pool. Um, you know, I don't have to move with it. Um, so the range of the, uh, the remote control itself is pretty fast. Um, but just an absolutely fantastic boat. Uh, DRC does a amazing job at every RC product that they make and they have my heart. I, I love DRC products. They always send really amazing stuff. And this one is currently 9% off. You can get it for about $50 and I promise you it's worth it. Now, the only cr critique that I have about uh, this boat is that the back, like going backwards, uh, kind of, it kind of struggles. Uh, one of my duck chasers. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, but one of, uh, one of the features of it that, that is, it needs, I don't want to say it needs work, but it's really bad. It, well, not bad, but it struggles at going backwards sometimes uh, because of, I, I don't know if it's the propellers or maybe it's the, the choppiness of the water or whatever, but it struggles to go backwards. But other than that, I, I the only thing I would say is if you have to go backwards or if you have to back tread, it's better to just go forward and, 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 and do a complete 180 as opposed to trying to get it to go backwards because that's one thing that it struggles with. But other than that, for the price point, it's absolutely fantastic. It comes with an extra battery. You will need four AA batteries for this one to use the remote. But outside of that, absolutely fantastic. Has a wide range on the receiver for the uh, remote control. And it's it zooms. It goes about 22 miles an hour. It's just absolutely fast. And I love this boat. It's probably my favorite RC boat that I've had. D DRC and SEMA do amazing jobs at their boats. But this DRC... Um, H120 takes the cake when it comes to boats. It's super fast, super amazing, and I absolutely love it. Now, the next and last product uh, video that I have to show you for the night is going to be for the DRC DE uh, 36W, and I love this thing too. It's really cool. It's it's basically uh, it's like a giant tank. Now, the selling point about this product that I, in my opinion, is like, it has a GoPro style camera that you put on the top of it. It's a 720p camera, but it looks absolutely amazing. Uh, whenever I test, um, uh cars outside obi has a habit of attacking my uh cars so uh, you will see him go absolutely crazy against this car um he ends up flipping it at the end but you will see the test that i do and it's absolutely fantastic and i i love this thing it's your boy Nikita back with an, another drc product that's sure to blow your socks off this is and while this video is playing, I'm going to go get the last product because you know I'm excited about that one already. It is the DRC DE36W, and I absolutely love this rugged kind of Jeep-style design. Um, I'm excited to use this one 
because it also comes with this really cool camera that um, can tilt from a zero to a 45 degree angle on the top. You simply just slide it into this little slot here and it slips right in and you hear a snapping sound. And then you take this little micro USB. Also, tool. don't forget, uh, your your chances are, are, are running low for the time you have to enter for a chance to win a $5 Amazon gift card, www.dragonblogger.com slash enter live. Don't forget to enter for a chance to win, guys. It's super easy. You just got to go to the website and put in your entry. Connector, and you connect it right here on the side. So I'm going to skip ahead to where we see the actual function. And there's Obi, of course. Get ready. About it. And I already knew he wasn't going to like it once I started going. He was going to chase it. So um, I waited till he started walking away, and then I, I went off, and of course he started chasing it. But the drc vehicle was able to navigate the bumpy terrain um and even though obi was kind of standing in front of it slightly getting into it it did a really good job now at some point it does uh hit like a bump slightly and, and flips over and that's where i kind of stopped the video but um the video that it recorded is something i'm going to show you um and it was great if obi wasn't messing with it i'm pretty sure it wouldn't have flipped over but because he kept messing with it it did end up toppling over oh no wait till you guys see the recorded footage um and so i had to stop recording the video but here is the part that it recorded um and it's really good 720p quality this is a screen recording from the phone that i had recording so you can see when he starts walking away that i'm going to start taking off and it is kind of bumpy but the quality is still amazing it's very nice 720p quality and there's no stabilizing feature so of course it's going to bounce as the car bounces but you can see obi running around and messing with it in the frames as i'm trying to navigate around him stopping and you know moving and going as he's looking at it trying to figuring out and this is a really fun product so if you're looking for a really awesome drc vehicle with an amazing 720p cam this is definitely one that you're going to want to check out i thought that th this was one of the this is probably my favorite drc product because of the fact that it has that gopro style camera and i absolutely love seeing the video of obi chasing it uh from the perspective of the actual uh car itself uh, and so it was just really funny to see but that was the last video that i had to show you the last product for the night and the drawing um the last product i have to show you is a, a, of course the star wars product but the drawing will be happening soon so now's your chance to get your last minute entries in for the five dollar gift card www.dragonblogger.com slash enter live justin's going to be drawing soon so make sure you get your chances to enter in now um but one of my favorite Force FX series lightsabers right here. This is the lightsaber of Mace Windu, Samuel L. Jackson. One of the most iconic lightsabers in the Star Wars universe because he's one of the few purple lightsabers. I'm gonna go turn off my lights real quick to give you a better view of how this thing works. So I've turned that light off. Let me go ahead. Do I have my remote for my other light? I do. Let me go ahead and turn my spotlight off so we get it nice and dark. Are you guys ready? Oh, yeah. Look at this nice purple blade. I love I love all of my lightsabers, um, and I love the FX Black series. They do an amazing job at getting the lightsabers true to how they looked in the series, and this thing is one that is absolutely fantastic. Uh, very vibrant purple color, and if, like all the other uh, FX Black series lightsabers, this one uh, makes... Um, turn it on. You got it! It does an amazing job at, uh, you know, having the smooth swing features so you can, it makes sounds. I know my mic probably won't pick it up because uh, it filters out background sounds, but it makes sound when you move it. And then when you hit it against things, it makes clashing sounds too, which is something that I love about the Force FX series. Um, for batteries, all you have to do is uh, unscrew this little bottom part and it has like a little um, tube that you simply slide batteries in. Uh, this one takes triple A's. It has like a little guard on the thing. So you have to use a very small Phillips screwdriver at the bottom to take this guard off, put the batteries in, put the guard back on. And then after that, you just slide it into where it fits, uh, screw the 
pommel back on and then uh basically really good to go oh you hear it some okay i'm glad that it doesn't completely filter it out but no this is absolutely fantastic i love the fx black series and i love the mace windu one because um who wouldn't want an absolutely amazing lightsaber like this also charles t you are the winner of the five dollar amazon gift card are you in the chat if you are please respond you have 60 seconds to claim uh, but yeah, no, absolutely fantastic lightsaber. I love how, I always love how it looks on stream because, um, it looks amazing, right? Like to me as is, but it looks a lot better on stream because of how it captures the light. Also, congratulations, Charles T. Uh, uh, you have won the $5 Amazon gift card, but yeah, that is, uh, that is all of the products that we have for this evening. Let me turn my light back on, um, get it get it nice and on and then turn my overhead light but that is all that we have for you today thank you guys for tuning in to the dragon blogger tech and entertainment tuesday night live stream i have been your host with the most but no toast nikita i will be back tomorrow morning I, I'm doing a morning stream at 8 a.m. Pacific, 10 a.m. CST, or 11 a.m. EST. Uh, rare morning slot. Yeah, exactly. I think the I've only ever done one other morning slot. I believe it was on a Saturday or a Sunday. It was on a weekend. Uh, so I'm super excited to be back tomorrow. So make sure you come tune in. If you're not following, please hit that follow button uh, so you can stay up to date on all of our Dragon Blogger Tech and Entertainment live show streams. I will catch y'all all tomorrow morning. I hope y'all have a wonderful rest of your Tuesday evening. Evening. and that's all peace out girl scouts and i'll catch y'all around <laughs>